So if you understand, go ahead and step out for us. Is why will I not be pulled out? There we go. All right. Go to get on your stomach. Go over. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Eric Muldrow here with Code Red Conversations, where we discuss all things related to aspects of the criminal justice system, policing in particular, and how you can be your own first responder. In today's video, I'll be reacting to the arrest of football player Marshawn Lynch. It happened in my old stomping grounds here in Las Vegas as a police officer, so I definitely wanted to comment on this one. I'll play the video and pause it here and there as I offer my comments. And as always, I'll discuss how this could possibly apply to you and what you can learn if you ever find yourself in a similar setting. Let's jump right in. <laughs> My man literally rode it until the wheels fell off. Look at that. Rode it till the fucking rim came off. Wow. He's just chilling in the car too. I think this might be happening in downtown or near the downtown area because I recognize some of the spots, I think I do. And there are a couple of officers that I used to work with who are still on, I can see, that work downtown. He's talking, but it's a little hard to understand him. He's asking what's the problem as if, well, I'm not driving right now and the car is not on. So why is that problematic? But if you're still in a position of physical control of a vehicle, meaning if you're sitting in a vehicle, most likely in possession of the keys, then, then that's basically the same as driving under the influence. How did the car get there in the first place? So those are aspects of the law that a lot of people don't understand. Clearly he drove it to get there. He's trying to act like the vehicle just magically appeared there. You have to be to some degree impaired to drive your car with the wheel literally off and only driving on the rim. Okay. So here's the thing, okay? Right now, if you don't get out of the vehicle, you're going to be charged with obstructing an investigation. That is a criminal offense, and you will go to jail. What kind of obstruction? Obstructing. What kind of obstruction? Yeah, we're not going to. There's it. not different kinds. <laughs> There's only one kind. Explain it to me. Okay, because I've already explained it to you. Failing to obey a command by an officer or lawful order is obstructing. That's so this is your last chance. Step out of the vehicle for us. Everything is understandable. I say this over and over again, but I don't think I'll ever be able to repeat it enough. Compliance can save so many lives, potentially. 
if you are being ordered to get out of a vehicle by a police officer, do so, whether or not you feel as if you are justified or if the officer is violating your rights, regardless of how you feel and whether or not you are right, your best bet would be to comply, get out of the vehicle, do what the officer tells you. Because getting into a debate, an argument, a fight with that officer at that time is not the place to fight your battle. If that officer has violated your rights, here in Vegas in particular, they have, they, they have body cameras. So your contact will be documented. And body cameras are more prevalent throughout the nation. So make it a point to do what you have to do to do what the officer is telling you to do. And then when the time comes, if you feel as if you were mistreated, then fight your fight. So if you understand, go ahead and step out for us. Is, why will I not be pulled out? Go. All right. go to get on your stomach. Go over it. Hands behind your back. And typically I'm very critical of the officers. I've seen too many videos where officers are willing to debate and have long drawn out conversations with the suspect instead of making your case, explaining the situation to them, asking them to comply. And if they choose not to, then it gets to a point to where you have to use force against them. And it definitely came across to me that he wasn't looking to comply anytime soon. So big props to the officer for simply handling his business without wasting a whole lot of time. No more games today. What kind of game? Because I'm not moving. He does smell like alcohol. Oh, oh I do smell like alcohol. Yep. Oh. So right now you're yeah, being arrested for the suspicion oh, of DUI. No surprise. Okay. No problem. Yeah, I need to. Oh, he can get one. He has a DUI unit available. I don't see any long guns. Get him onto his side. Once he got on the ground, he complied. So that was good for him. Don't make it worse by fighting, getting combative. They got him off of his stomach, so that wouldn't be an issue. Get ready. Give me that stuff. I believe they have the section blurred out because they're about to run his info. <laughs> That's funny. Near the end of the video, they found out, they realized who he actually was. And uh, it's kind of funny. But what do y'all think about this video? How would you have responded if you were the officer? Do you think you would have done anything different? I thought they kept it concise. But before you go, make sure you check out this video here. I think you'll find it extremely helpful.